fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and we're back in Ireland for the five things you're going to love and maybe not like so much about visiting Ireland. And I know we did this video about 10 years ago, but it's time to update it because Ireland is always changing. But one thing that never changes about coming to Ireland, and the first thing you're going to love the most about coming here are the people. Look, the Irish are the most fun, most outgoing, most bring you in as a tourist to let you know about their country and make sure you have a good time, people you can find. I mean, they are awesome. And, and what's funny is they'll teach you some new words you might not known before you got here. And they're not always nice words, sometimes the best way of insulting people ever. But dang it, are the Irish awesome. And that's what's going to make you love coming here. Because whether you're staying at a castle or a bed and breakfast, or you're going to a site or you're hitting at the pub, Look, you're going to have a crack. You're going to have a great time with the locals when you are here. So take the time to meet some locals when you're there. And don't worry, they'll come up and talk to you and ask you, hey, where are you from? Hey, what are you doing and seeing in Ireland? They will be awesome. So that's the first thing you're going to love when you're going to be here. OK, now the first thing you're going to hate when you come here is really going to be your first hour driving for the first time on the left side of the road. Yes, they drive on the left side of the road here, not like the right in the U.S. And that can be a bit disconcerting, especially when you first start off. Now, after the first hour or two, you get fine. You get used to it, you know, with the with the semi trucks looking like they're about to crash into you on these small little roads. And you're like, ah, small little road road and, and a hedgerow on the side. And there's a truck coming. Oh, my God, the semis and lorries. What am I going to do? And it, it can be a bit much. And that scares people off for driving when they're in Ireland. But don't let it stop you from driving here. It is fantastic. But that first hour and when you hit your first roundabout, and you've got to take a right at a roundabout. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Remember, if you're going to take a right at a roundabout, you're going to go in on the right side. If you're going to take the first exit or the second exit, go straight through. You're going to enter on the left side. All right. So just just be ready. And of course, you're going around this way when you go. So so just be ready. You know, it, it happens. Um, also, uh, remembering how to drive stick shift can be a bit complicated as well. But uh, just know that first hour. It's going to be a little bit of, ah, ah, ah. so definitely don't drive in Dublin. Like get your, get your car in Dublin or Shannon and then drive out and explore first to get a feel for it. All right. Now, the second thing you're going to love about coming here to Ireland are the three C's, the coast, the countryside and the castles. Oh my God. When you drive around Ireland and, and honestly, I'll talk about it later, but you don't have to drive. There's other ways to get around. But when you go and you have the countryside and you have the lanes you drive down, but the castles you can go and visit. Yes, you can go and kiss the Blarney Stone. And yes, it's super touristy, but it's super worth it. Uh, FYI, watch our video on tourist traps for Ireland and Northern Ireland. They're all tourist traps that you still want to do, but going around and seeing the castles around the country, heck, you can stay in castles when you're here. We're actually at Kennedy uh, Castle Hotel right now spending the night. It's fantastic, but going to see the coast, driving the Ring of Kerry. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. But going through the countryside, going through Kells and seeing, this is where they found the Book of Kells. This is where it's from. This is so cool. But going through the countryside, going through the small towns, going to bigger towns, you know, going to Waterford and going through Kilkenny. I mean, it's just, just awesome. But honestly, the coast, the, the, countryside and the castles, you're going to love it when you see them when you're here. Now, the second thing you're definitely not going to love when you come to Ireland, and you're most likely going to stay there at least part of your time, that is the prices in Dublin. Look, Ireland is not an expensive vacation, except if you're staying in Dublin the whole time. So get out of Dublin, because my goodness, whether you're going out to eat or accommodation or entertainment, Dublin is not cheap. All right. So that's going to be your most expensive part of your vacation is your Dublin time. But for me as a traveler, I love exploring the whole island versus just staying in Dublin. OK, but just know you're going to hate those prices in Dublin. And the locals will tell you, too, man, we, we really spend a lot being in Dublin. All right. Now, let's move back to some of the happier parts of coming to Ireland. And you're going to love the fact that Ireland has some of the best tourism infrastructure anywhere in the world. I mean, when people ask us, Mark, What's a good first international destination for us to go to? I tell them, look, Ireland. Ireland is fantastic. One, you can speak the language. Yes, there's an accent there, but you get over it. But honestly, it's a tourism infrastructure. If you don't want to drive, they've got trains, they've got buses that will take you everywhere, and they've got tours that will take you. You want to do the Ring of Kerry, but you don't want to drive? Boom, there's a tour for that. You want to hit some distilleries? There's a tour for that. I mean, it's so awesome as a tourist to come here. And the economy really, there's a lot of the economy is driven by tourism. So they treat the tourists well when they're here. And, and it's really nice knowing that infrastructure is there for you. 
depending if you want to stay at a castle, or you want to stay at a B and B or a hotel, you want to rent a car, you want to take a bus. It's one of those things that's really nice. And the background information that's here, you can find so much information out on coming to Ireland that it just makes it an easy destination. And that's what you're going to love because that infrastructure makes it so easy for you to come here. And that's just it. You're going to be so happy you come here that you're going to be upset with the next thing you're not going to like. And that is when you don't get the cheap flights to Ireland. Look, Ireland is famous for cheap flights with Ryanair coming in from all over Europe. You can get here super cheap coming from the U.S. Whether you're going with Delta or Lingus or other airlines, you can get super cheap tickets to come to Ireland. And this could be a place you come to and then go explore more of Europe and save money. But you're going to be really upset if you don't get those cheap tickets. We come here in the fall and notice it's not raining right now. It doesn't rain all the time, but I'll talk about that later. But we're coming here $450 for a ticket from Chicago. Okay, like not bad at all. But if you come in peak season, like you want to come during St. Patrick's Day, you want to come in the summer, then you're paying like a grand or something from the U.S. Sometimes you're like, wait, but everyone else got those great prices to Ireland. Ugh. And it really does upset you because you can get great deals. So make sure you look at different times of the year to save you some cash and different days of the week to come in because that can really save you some money about flying to Ireland. But yeah, the couple times I did not get the cheap deal, I was a little upset. Now to help me get through that sadness of paying a little bit too much for my flights to come here this one time, there was one thing that helped me get through and that is the next thing you're going to love. The food and the fun and the pubs and the drinks when you come here. Look, there's been jokes for years about Irish food and like, oh, an Irish steak is just a potato on the grill. Look, Ireland years ago went through the foodie revolution before foodie revolution was a thing. And they have fantastic food throughout the country. Whether you want traditional Irish fare or international fare, Ireland has fantastic food. I mean, think about it. All over the world, there's an Irish pub. And what does everyone like to do there? Drink and eat. Well, guess what? All over Ireland, there's Irish pubs where you could drink and eat and have a great time. And the food here, oh my gosh, the seafood when you come here, the mussels, the oysters, the salmon. I mean, do you even just get fish and chips? I mean, the food is amazing when you're here. Lamb, oh my God, the soda bread. Oh, get, a, get an, uh, a full Irish breakfast. Oh my God. You'll eat so well when you're here, but also drink so well as well because the pub culture, yeah, you'll have a crack. You'll have a good time when you're here because you're going to go and have, you'll have your Guinness, you have your Smithics, you'll have some of the local brews and you have the whiskeys that are here. But I got to tell you, what you're going to love the most about the Guinness and the Smithics and the other Irish beers you've had around the world is when you have it here in Ireland, it tastes like a completely different beer. It tastes like it was brewed in heaven and then given straight to you. Not brewed in heaven and then shipped over on a boat and then sat in a store for 10 days or 10 weeks and then you get to have it and then you put it in your fridge and then it re... No, 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 no. It is so fresh and so wonderful. You will love it. That's why. Look, even if you don't drink, have a Guinness when you're in Ireland, it'll change you. And speaking of the drink, I think there's another dislike or, or I don't say hey, but really a dislike you might have when you do come to Ireland because a lot of us do come and we do visit Dublin. And I think a hate you want to know is late night in the Temple Bar District and the bar districts, you do need to be a little careful because sometimes people have a little too much to drink. And I'm not saying there's fisticuffs all the time and stuff like that, but you do need to be careful with the drinks and people around and tourists that are around because sometimes people have a bit too much when you're here. I know I've been here in Ireland multiple times. I've had a train delayed. I've had a bus delayed. I've had, you know, people trying to pick fights with us in bars and pubs. And most of it's actually been in Dublin and around there. So you're not really having this problem so much outside of Dublin. And honestly, a lot of times it was other tourists, but that's one thing you might not like is the Dublin late night issues that do come up. Now, another thing I really love about coming to Ireland is that you get to control your vacation because so many tourists come here. You think it's going to get overrun everywhere I go. No, it really doesn't. Yes, the Ring of Kerry gets busy with the, with, with the tour buses and the, and Blarney Castle, you got to go up and there'll be a tourist lines to go up it and Dublin can get full of tourists, but Honestly, if you have your own car, if you don't have your own car, you can control your destination. You can go to all these off the beaten track places. I mean, there's castles all over the country. There's beautiful, you know, countryside to see, like I talked about before, but you can control it. And that's what's so great. You want to have a socially distanced vacation? You can do that here. You want to be with a ton of tourists? You can have that here. And Ireland gives you that opportunity. And, and I know it's an island, but that island has a lot to offer. So if you're in the north, you know, you can have a very much chillaxed, very few tourist vacation versus the hubbub and, and, and packedness of going to a place like Cork or, or Dublin. 
But honestly, I just love the fact that whenever I come here to Ireland, I get to control my vacation, have a family vacation if I want to have a family vacation. If I want to have a buddy's trip, I can have a buddy's trip vacation. If I want to have a brother's, sister's trip, I can do that as well. Ireland lets you be you with the tourism, and that's what's so great about it, all right? But I always have to finish off, at least with our fifth thing you might not like about coming to Ireland, and that is when it doesn't rain. Oh, wait, it does rain. A lot. But it doesn't rain all the time. And I think that the dislike you might not like about the weather here in Ireland, it, yes, it does rain. That's how you get all this greenery and all this beauty. But honestly, it's when the fog rolls in and it's cloudy and you can't see things like the cliffs of Moher. You pay to see the cliffs. Oh, but the weather is bad and you can't see it. Try to drive the Ring of Kerry when there's a storm going. That can be a bit troublesome, but you can get around that. Because honestly, we've been here for five days now and we've had the sprinkles you see behind me. If you watch our tourist traps of Ireland, you'll see the rain going there. But Honestly, we've had great weather when we've been here. The rain doesn't rain all the time, but just know, be prepared for it. Have multiple layers. And it's going to seem like you're stripping off when you go into the restaurants, when you go eat in the pubs, because you're going to have your t-shirt and your quarter zip and your jacket and your hat and your scarf. And then you're like, oh, the rain stopped. I got to do all kinds of stuff. So that, that can be a bit uh, annoying. But honestly, I mean, expect some rain when you're here, but don't think it's going to rain all the time. But do know... You might not like it when those clouds roll in and you can't see that famous sight. All right. So I hope this helps you know some things you might love and might not like so much about visiting Ireland. But I'll be honest, if you're looking for a country to visit, you will love coming to Ireland. It is on the top of my list for great places to go. I hope you have a great time when you're here. If you want to learn more, we have some more serious stuff like the don'ts of visiting Ireland. Or also we have some fun things like culture shocks you might have when you're here on our website at waltersworld.com. Anyway, I wish you all the best and have a great time here in Ireland. Don't worry, you will, whether you love Guinness or not. Bye.